for me, it's not our ghost real, it's war ghosts. I think for us, we're trying to understand where consciousness even comes from. In Chalmers' this hard problem of consciousness, for years we believed that it was localised into a bit of the brain. And now we believe that actually it might be smaller than that. A really good example is if you look at caterpillars, if you were to put caterpillars uh, through, say, a maze or you know, a set of skills that they had to learn so that they had to hold information, when they go into their cocoon, they completely liquefy, and I mean completely, to, to goo bordering on water. And then they rebuild themselves and they re-emerge. When they re-emerge as butterflies and you put them in the same conditions, they remember. Which means that if you can break someone down to individual molecules and then reassemble them and they still have the same components, that must mean that consciousness is not localised in a large section of the brain. It must be much smaller than we think it is.